thanks so much for tuning in again I'm Trish from Chrome Medical and today I wanted to pester you about your email list and I know it's the last thing that you want to hear you've heard it from everyone in the world how important your email list or maybe you haven't which will be good because I keep watching but even if you have I want to say it my way and I want to explain to you how stupidly important it is to start your email list so the reason I want to talk to you about newsletters today is because or to give you a bit of context, I started a blog in 2008 and it became quite successful. The reason I sort of tell you this is because I had it for about nine years altogether and through that entire time, even back in the day when SEO and optimization and all the user tips to make your blog good wasn't really around, everyone was still saying, get your email list, get your email list and really driving it into you. I would go to conferences and read emails and read other people's blogs and every single person was pushing the importance of email and to be honest I still didn't do it very much and that's because you don't get that instant reward you don't get that you know, well, it takes a lot of time to usually make one you've got to be quite inventive it doesn't get published anywhere to refer to again it gets sent out and then left and a lot of people get a bit discouraged when they open up the, the results and they see how many people A didn't open it and B unsubscribed. But there is definitely ways to, to improve that. So I'll talk about that in another video. But today I want to talk about the importance of actually just getting one to start off with. Now you might have a hundred followers on Instagram and sort of go, well I don't need any I don't need a mailing list Trish, you silly girl. But you still do. No matter how big, no matter how small you are start getting an email list now because it's hard to do getting someone's email is not easy uh, as you can probably imagine because how how hard is it to get you to subscribe to something how how many times do you say no to a subscription to something or get a pop-up saying please subscribe to my newsletter and you're like <laughs> no because you don't want that spam so you have to find a way to beat that spam now I'll get back to I'll get to back to that get back to that a little bit later because first of all I want to do the why why you need one so basically Instagram Facebook social media in general is so hard to get your posts visible now isn't it it's it's now you got to boost your posts to get your posts seen you've got to really work on engagement and spend so many hours on your phone to just try to get your posts visible to a small percentage of who's following you. Now, the reason this is happening is because of all of the changes with the algorithm over the years. When I started my Facebook page for my old business, it was so easy for my posts to be seen. Pretty much everyone saw all of my posts. This was back in 2008 and it was the best. Now it's about 5%, so not great. Now, if I had have really pushed my email list back then, I could have had a, quite a substantial group of people in my list. And it, when I sent them an email, there's no algorithm. There is no algorithm. If I send them the email, it goes to the inbox. It, they get it. It's not a, oh, if you do this, if you pay some money, if you optimize it well, it'll get seen by a certain amount of people. It goes to their email list. Now, not everyone will open it and occasionally it will go to junk mail, but depending on how you title it and write it and how fun your emails in the past have been will depend on how many people actually open it, but it still gets to their inbox. Now that's where the important part is because if you have important information to say, it will get there. Now, the difference between that and social media and why it's way more valuable than social media is because we don't know what will happen with the algorithms on social media. We just have no idea. Who knows, one day they could say just everyone has to pay for their posts. And if you're a small business, or a big business for that matter, you it's not viable to do. It's not viable to boost every post to all of your followers, pay you know, $500 to reach 10,000 people. That's bonkers. Now the reason why it's so valuable, the email list is so much more valuable than social media is because you own it. Social media owns your accounts. If Instagram shut down tomorrow, everything that you've invested into Instagram would be lost. 
if you spent money building likes, building followers, time is money also. And how many times, how much time have you spent taking photos, editing photos, posting photos, engaging with people? If that all went tomorrow, what would you have? You would have to start from the start. People's accounts have been closed down for no reason and they haven't been able to recover it. These weird things can happen. And if you don't have an email list, you have no way to meet and find these people again. See, if you have an email list, you can download that list and keep it. You can print it, you can laminate it, you can bind it, you can do whatever you like with it. Don't sell it, don't do stupid things, of course, but you can physically hold your list. You can't do that with Instagram. You have no way of downloading your followers and keeping them and being able to find them again and get in touch with them and getting them to follow you again. So that's where the big fat difference is. Now, I know it's way easier to just post on Instagram and do a quick update and get immediate results. You get comments, you get likes, you get people moving over to your website and making sales. And the newsletter takes a great deal of time and doesn't often see immediate results. It can if you have a sale. The click-through rate's often very good if you have a sale, but the work involved puts a lot of people off. And a lot of people don't like the amount of writing that they have to do about themselves. They don't want to talk about themselves. They want to talk about their products. So it's uh, there's a big barrier between email lists, but it's worth doing. It's worth making your emails fun and engaging so that people just look forward to them. They look forward to your emails rather than it just being a sell, 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 sell. So by doing that, people will be ready to open them when you do have something important to say, when you do have a sale, when you do have anything that's important on. It might not even be a sale. It might be an exhibition that you're running. It might be a new fashion, fashion launch. It could be anything. It could be a new book that you've released. They are ready to open it because they are familiar with your emails. They know when they're coming in that it'll be good. So that's why the posting them regularly is really important. And also it's just, you own it. You can't lose them. You can't lose them like you could in other places. So the value is massive. And then the better you end up writing them, the more people that do read them, the more opportunity you have to make sales. If you are a selling uh, brand or business, or you do hope to be, it is the best thing that you can do is emails. Emails done well because that gets people into your sales funny, fun, sales funny, sales funnel really well. I'll talk about that properly and more in depth in another post. But all I can say, I hope I've drilled down on this hard enough. Your email list is super valuable. Now, there are certain ways that are better than others to get them because how, as I mentioned earlier, how difficult is it to get your email? How hard do people have to work for you to put your email in that box? If you were to go to someone's website and on the, on the side of it, it said, join my email list here, would you generally volunteer your email to that brand? Or if you were browsing their site and a little pop-up, a little pop-up, don't make them big, a <laughs> little pop-up came up and said, uh, join now our join our email blah, 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 blah. join our email list now and receive 10% off your first purchase. Now that's an incentive that you might go, mm, all right, I'll do it. So that incentive gets that super important email and super valuable email that a lot of people don't want to don't want to give. Now you might be worried about giving away 10% off, giving away something for free, giving away something that might make you lose profit just for an email, but that's so a bit backwards. And I want to sort of explain that as a bit as well, because but you are basically buying someone's email. That's the sole purpose of why people do it. So that 10% off of whatever price it is, is worth getting that person's email address. It is worth it hundred percent. Firstly, hardly anyone will probably use it because how many of them have you received and they've just ended up sitting there, but they're still on the list. And even later, they've used that 10% and they're still on your email list for you to continue to market to for a long time to come, as long as you do it well and don't make them leave. <laughs> now, so you've got them on their list and you've got given them a 10% off voucher, for example. Now, how many people boost posts on Instagram or Facebook or pay for ads? 
how much money have you spent on there compared to a discount to get someone forever so there is a big sort of translation there that needs to sort of change I don't know if that's the right words but you need to sort of change your mindset of paying for something here versus a discount that gets you something for a long time on your email list now I hope that makes sense that was a bit gobbledygook tell me let me know if you don't get it down below now I've explained a little bit about the why why it's valuable why you need an email list but now I want to tell you a little bit about the how to get that because I mean I went into a little bit about incentives but I want to get a bit deeper into that because there are so many different ways to do it and a lot of people sort of including myself this is where I've been so it's really helpful that I've been through this experience lately is I don't have a product to sell I make no money from Instagram, I make no money from my videos yet, I don't have anything to offer that isn't just, I'll send good emails, woo! and that's just not enough for people to subscribe. So what I have done is I have said, for everyone who replies to my first email, I wanna send you a little something in the post, so send me your address. So that's just me saying a little, little thank you in the mail for joining my email list. It'll take me quite a lot of time. It'll take me, I've got to buy something to send to them. It'll cost me a post to actually send in just a letter. So I've got to think of something small to ship, but the value that I got from the value that I'm offering in compared to their email list is so small. So, but they're really happy because they're getting a little something from me. So it doesn't have to be a discount. It doesn't have to be a product. It doesn't have to be that either. It can also be a free ebook. It can be a exclusive VIP event that they get to go to first, or they get to join a secret Facebook group that only people part of the email list are a part of. There are so many different ways that you can reward someone or offer them something of value for joining your email list. So really think of things other than just a 10% off voucher because so many of us are new on Instagram or are thinking about doing something in the business in the future and wouldn't know how to start trying to build their email list now but you can you really really can so I recommend finding whatever in your niche you are doing find what you can offer and offer offer that offer a discount offer any of the things that I've just mentioned and start building it now if you don't have a website that is totally okay as well in Instagram you can add a link and you can if you go to linktree.com you can actually add lots of links if you look in my Instagram account it's chromatical I have a linktree address in my URL and I have lots of links where I have things and I have a link to building my email list so even if I didn't have that on my website I could still link it in my Instagram bio so it's just a link from MailChimp and it just lets people enter the form and join my email list now i think i've said enough now have i hammered into you enough that you need an email list i really hope so i'll be really working on mine this year really working on sending out a lot of value making fun emails making sure people enjoy my emails so that when i do have something to sell my emails will be opened and that i do have that backup that really valuable spot that if I did not have anywhere else or struggled to get visibility on any social media platforms, I've still got my email. So I hope that resonated with you. I hope you've got a bit of, bit of motivation to go and start one now. And if you did, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. I'd love a like on my YouTube channel and a subscription would be amazing. There's a red button with a big subscribe button and I'd love for you to click that or share it with a friend that as well might benefit from hearing about the mailing lists. And I'll stop talking now. Until my next video, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope this has been of value. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.